Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here to just show you this little thing I've made with the happy mail that I received from Sam. Uh, yeah, using oh, a big US size window envelope. Yeah, it's just, it's nothing, it's nothing new. It's not rocket science. I've not even put anything in this inside yet. I just had to make something flippy or flappy with one of these huge window envelopes uh, so i'll show you how i made that i've used one and a half envelopes because we have then got another pocket on the inside yeah so yeah i'll just show you how i made it and how i decorated it and what i used so here we go uh, i've decorated it with some of the papers from the vintage victorian shabby chic ephemera collection it's got some lovely papers in the back and I'm, i want to use this one for this time now if anyone has any better ideas on how to get these out at book just answers on a postcard please <laughs> i'm showing my age there aren't i because you used to have to put answers on a postcard before the internet right i've literally lost my craft knife already here we go yeah and i do apologize if i repeat myself from my last video i don't normally film two videos in one day <laughs> You'll see why in a minute, because I can't remember what I said. And, yeah, if I start telling you what's happened in my life, I'm like, did I say that on last video? I mean, if I wait a couple of days to film another video, then different things have happened, haven't they? Yeah, I'm very current. <laughs> my videos are very current with what's going off. It, well, it's not like I do old thrilling in my life, but you know what I mean. Right, I've got my paper out of there while waffling. So, yeah, I didn't actually lose any limbs look i'm not good with a craft knife it is no secret so i shall get this trimmed off i do actually like because i cleared my disc off for the happy mail i've actually got any room on my desk to put my big trimmer on i know you can't see it all there we go Ooh, i like it. it's my fiscars rotary trimmer it's not the big chompy one I got this a few years ago just because it were on sale. Right. So that's the paper I'm going to decorate the envelope with. Right. The other papers I'm going to use are from this collection by uh, Lorna at Tailor Made Journals. I use this collection quite a bit. I haven't got the full collection printed out, but what I do have is the cover page that you will see if you go to Etsy to buy it. It's vintage lace papers. I don't know if that's a 16 or 18. That's old eyes, that. Not to do with writing. Old eyes. I think it's 18. I'm not going to count them. That life's too short to count. And yeah, you can get an idea of what they look like. I think I may use... I like one of these. They're a nice yellowy colour that will go nice with that paper, I think. Yeah. Sorry for a bit glary. I faffed about that long. I'm now filming in electric light. So that's that. I was going to fussy cut some of these images to decorate. But as you can see, there's not a lot of <laughs> border around that. So I just went for a little cluster. So yeah. So we won't need those. We've got our lace papers. We've got our paper. I shall now pop those over to one side. Join the Lumen Crafter Lunch. And I made the journal card with some of these. I've got a few pages left from this is Stamperia House of Roses, I believe it is. I'm hoping I can get another card out of that one. But we shall see, won't we? We shall see. So again, they can go over to one side for now. I just didn't want to put anything too thick and chunky inside these envelopes. Right, let's grab a couple of envelopes and I'll show you how I made this. Right, in fact, I might. Hmm, we could have that tag coming out the top this time for a change. No, I'll, sh I'll show you actually how I made this one. Yeah, then we can go puffing and altering. Sometimes as I'm making one thing, I'll have an idea for something else. That's one of them. I have no idea if anyone's made that before. It's just something I did. Right, firstly, I'm going to fold this envelope in half. Let's get right way up. I want the window on the front. Not in half, sorry. I'm going to fold it so that I've got about the same white there as I have there. 
And as you can see, I've then run out of envelope. And after I, I got it in my head, that would fold over and be a flap. And it's like, oh, no, there you go. It could still be. If you wanted to put this onto a journal page, that don't matter. You could put that on a journal page when it's decorated. Yeah, you could have journaling space there, there. And you could that could be a pocket. Yeah, that would be quite a nice way to pop it on a page, to be honest. Depends on your journal. But this one, I want it to be like a it, its own little ephemera piece when it's not in the journal so i did that with one envelope then i took another envelope and then i chopped i chopped it off i did again i cut that leave as much white there as you want i've left that much that i'm not even going to do anything and show you what to do with that because you can just seal that up pop a tag in bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt jobs are good and everything's done that didn't need a tutorial. Well, this really isn't a tutorial, it's more of a craft with me. So now I'm left with that piece and that piece. And I want to put that piece onto that piece to make my pocket. But first, I just want to fold this over so that my edge of my pocket is going to be reinforced. I'll show you what I mean there. So it's not just one thickness of envelope, it's two thicknesses. So there we go. I'm going to get snippity snip in there. I'm just going to check the lights, okay. I'm just going to adjust it because we've got a lot of white and it's very bright. Oh, that's very dark now. Oh dear. Really not good with this light, me, when I'm filming in lecture. That's, I think that's midway. We can live with that. We can. So, what have I done? Yeah. <laughs> so, I've just snipped that off. Then I'm going to snip that. Now, this whole back piece, that's going. It's gone. Don't need it. I think I'll swap to my big scissor and cut straight lines with that. So, all the way along that crease, I'm just going to cut that bit off. That piece, surplus to requirements, not required. Off you pop. Don't let Dora at you. Can't wait out. Bye. So, then I'm just going to glue that bit, turn it over, and then we'll have a nice reinforced edge on our pocket. Right, I think I'll use... No, that's not the art glitter you're using, woman. You've decanted some into a small bottle. You've been using it about six months. Why on earth did you just forget that? Probably because you're crazy. I'm just going to give that a little crease. I mean, I'm in shot, aren't I? Yeah. Crease my burn filter. So I'm going to put the glue on that before I flip it over. Whee. Particular attention I'm going to pay to edge because I don't want things to then get caught when I put them in and out of the pocket. And I've got a nice crisp crease. So... There you go. Can fold over easier. And there we go. Right, let's bring that back. So that is going to go over there as a pocket. But to make that happen, as you can see, it's not going to fit, is it? We can't put one thing inside another. We're going to run out of room. Or you could ask. You could, I suppose. Do you know what? I think I might. What I did to the other one is I just cut it down slightly, but you know this time I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered cutting it. So I think what I'd done before, I'd glued that up first. Ah, so I've just discovered a much better way of doing it. There you go. So I just want that to be the same length as front, yeah? A little bit longer. I've just pulled it out all together. You crazy woman. You're crazy. I'll tell you what. It's the same width all the way up into it. I'm just going to like, I'm refolding that flap. Because as you can see, that is a little bit wider. Then I'll hutch it along and it won't fall off. Here's a lady. That's better. Right, 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go, this is the outside, I'm just going to put some glue there. Wee. Glue back on, sorted. It's not going anywhere now, is it? And I'm just going to fold this flap over onto there. I'm not putting glue right up to the crease because we don't want to seal that up. But I will put glue along there on that bit. And then I'm going to put it not right way down, but to about there. Around that edge. I mean, I put money on Angela Kerr having done something similar to this or even more fancy. In fact, definitely a lot more fancy. She does a lot with envelopes. I just wanted to see what I could come up with. My new envelopes from Sam. <laughs> just straighten that off a little bit. So, there we have it. Our front window. And our flap on the back. Now, to make the pocket. I'm just going to take a sliver off that edge, a teeniest, tiniest sliver, just enough, like that, so that will open up, I mean, let me show you how much I've took off, look at that, that's, I mean, it's not even, it's, it's a smidgen, there's nothing else I can call that other than a smidgen, right, now that's looking nice and flat, so I'm going to glue this flap up now, Again, I'm just going to, I'm not too bothered about, that. we're going to cover that with paper. So I'm just going to go along that edge a little bit, round that edge. And there we go. So that's that, all glued and ready to mat with some paper. Got a little bit bubbling there. You could glue that beforehand, but do you know, when I glue these up first, I sometimes find they don't, they don't crease properly, and I've no idea why that is. Couldn't tell you. I just find they seem to fold over better if I get all my folds and creases done before I start gluing flaps together. That's just for some reason. Right, I've got a piece there. I'm not psychic. I didn't cut that ready. That's... Uh, the other half to that piece I cut for that one, can you see? <laughs> right, I'm going to ink it with Distress Oxide tea dye. Yeah, I'm inking very, very hastily. Very, I'm not paying a lot of attention. In fact, when I inked the first one, I was paying so little attention at one point, I picked a different sponge up in an orangey colour. <laughs> so you can probably see some of these pieces are orangey colour, not tea dyed, but I can live with it. Did world end? No. So I'm here to craft another day. I've done so much time faffing and wondering, what shall I make? What shall I make it with? I've got all this stuff. In fact, I was a little bit overwhelmed. Let's be honest, I was overwhelmed with all the new goodies. So what I then did is I put it all away apart from, I knew I wanted to use envelopes. Uh, I got out some bits and bobs that I thought went really well with that vintage collection thing. See, that's coming undone again. Let's get some more glue under there. It's going to get covered up with paper, so again, I'm not too bothered. I must have just not put enough on first time. Ooh, look at that. Don't matter, I'm putting paper on it. I'm just going to grab end of that just for, in fact, do you know what? It didn't really matter because I'm covering it with paper. Yeah, there you go. Inky to inky. I don't know what to say because I've only made one video in a day. I don't know how these people manage it who do like a week's worth of videos in a day. It's like time travel that for me. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I'd get confused, I'd get confused answering comments It doesn't take much to confuse me basically Right, that, maybe it's a little bit shorter than on the other one But I can live with it The world will be a happy place 
because I've saved a little bit of time. Right, I'm gonna put my art glitter around the edges. Wee, wee. Yeah, maybe it'd have been easier putting this on first, but I didn't, so there. Both on planning, not always my strong suit. Move in cart it away so you don't dip out else in. So if you forgot to put some paper in, which I hadn't, I intended to do it like this. I'll just do that. Do -do. Put it in a bit further than I think I need it, so I can then pull it back to the point where I want it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It is a bit short, this, so I need to go a bit further down with it. There we go. But my days are lining everything up with a perfect one eighth of an inch gap all the way around, are well and truly over. I'm just going to bend that and get a bit of ink down the middle as well. There we go. Spin it back right way in case I'm confusing people. Right, the rest of it I'm going to cover in this. Oh, I do like this. That is so nice. Oh, really nice. <sighs> I mean, the inside, I've not decorated it. I'll go back to my prototype again. But my plan is there to... I might put one of those Tim Holtz slot dies with little bits of ephemera. Or you could put, you could just put anything, any kind of pocket. You could put a fold-out piece of copy-dyed paper for extra journaling. That'd be a nice surprise, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then I'm just going to put another tag in there. You could put another pocket there. Anything you want. It's just pretty. So, let's cut this. I like that bit. That will make that might be good on the back actually, because as a, if it's a standalone piece, yeah, will make the back pretty. If you're going to glue it into a journal and make that into a pocket, like I said, you could put that in your journal. That would be a pocket. Don't bother decorating that bit. It'd be a waste of paper. Mine, however, are going to be standalone pieces. So I'm going to measure them and cut them. Put lid on that ink for you have a disaster. Yeah. That's uh, the way to go. Yeah, I'm not making, I'm giving no actual measurements. It's all yay much, this much, smidgen. <laughs> uh, your envelopes might be a different size. They could be exact same envelopes and still be like an eighth of an inch out. So when you do things like this, you can make them any size you want. Ooh. One of my little wax seals. Right, so there's my mark. There's my mark. There's that mark. And if I make this one the same height as well, it will do for my inside front cover. So I'll just give that a little mark. And cut that. That's them too. Oh, I looked at these books. Uh, they're not available in the UK, so thank you so much for sending me this, Sam. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what they're called. I don't know whether I told you the name of the book in the unboxing. It's Created Studio, yeah? And these are on Amazon.com. But inside there is a... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, QR code, and that takes you straight to Amazon.com. Created shop. They have loads of different books. They're really nice. So, yeah, I want that on the back. That is going to go there, inside front. Maybe that wants to be a little bit shorter. Yeah, see what I mean? That ends a bit wider because I've put that on. So that just needs cutting down a smidgeroon. I think I'll take it off the bottom. I might have done this a bit wonky, to be honest, but hey-ho, hey-ho, it's off to work we go. That should be high-ho, shouldn't it? Can you guess one of my favourite games when I was younger, and still now, I like to play it with kids, but then I get all silly and they're like, mother. It's one of those word association games. You know when you say a word... And someone else has to say something associated with it. Because I just go off on some absolutely mental tangents. <laughs> absolutely mad. And kids are like, what? And then I have to explain to them the connection. And they're like, yeah, that's a very loose connection, Mum. Because I started singing 
Hi Ho, Hi Ho. And then I'm thinking of a song called Hi Ho Silver. Then I'm like Lone Ranger. Yeah, and then it's like Ranger Ink. <laughs> it's just what I was in your head, isn't it? Oh dear. Then it's Inka Dinka Do. Oh, I won't even go any further. Suffice to say, it's uh, just made me think of a book I saw on Amazon earlier. I do apologise if anyone finds this in poor taste, but I thought it absolutely hilarious. And I'm I'm tempted to get one. And it's called, it's called Things to Do on the Loo. <laughs> but the, the even funnier is there's a sequel. I really shouldn't have to tell you what the sequel's called. It's called Things to Do on the Loo, number two. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought that was so funny. It went joke gift section. I like a good joke gift. So I get recommended some really wacky stuff sometimes. Well, I'm really tempted to get that. I'll put a little um, shelf, I think, uh, on wall, knit low, and I'll put that in for visitors. <laughs> <laughs> I could have a few, like, please take a copy and a pen, yeah? Please take a copy and a pen, don't let your tea go cold. Yeah, D don't even go there. Right, that's the back. Oh, I love that. That's so, that's me all over that. Roses, butterflies, <sighs> absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry if this is taking forever because I'm rabbiting for England. There I were, worrying about having note to sex. It was the second video I'd filmed in a day. And I'm just talking about things that are in poor taste. I am ever so sorry. Things to do on the loo number two. <laughs> that cracked me up, it really did. Dear. Right, that's that, that's that. So I need to get another piece of it for there. And then I'm just going to use random strips of it round the window. And inside there I want to put a piece of the lace. So what do I want to see? I think I want to see the sewing machine. Yeah. So again, I'll put, put, pop, it, pop it there. Can I speak? No. Reason 26 not to do two videos straight after. Well, it's not straight after each other. I've been umming and ahhing and faffing for about two hours. Well, yeah, it's... It's gone dark. That's that's yeah, that's how long I've been fiffing and faffing. Now I've put that mark on, now I've lost it. I've put a black mark on a black piece of paper. Smart woman, smart, weren't it that? I just can't see it, I'm afraid. There it is. Is it? Just measure it again, measure it again. I often have people in comments say it's nice to see you do things that I do. I don't feel as daft having done them. I'm telling you, if there's out daft to be done in crafting, I've done it. I've been there, done it. Done it before, yeah. I'm going to press on a little bit, because then I'll be able to feel it, yes. Or maybe I should have got a red pen, I don't know. I tend to use pencil because it rubs out. And when you ink, quite often you can... You don't see the pencil, do you? I can see that one, because I've marked it on a quite light part of the paper i really do love this paper i wish i could get a pad of just the papers now because there's lots of ephemera in it but not many full sheets but gorgeous right up my street sam thank you yeah let's glue that on Got a bit giddy there, didn't I? Piece of paper, glue in a piece of paper. What piece of paper? Where did it go? It jumped. It's alive. Which way around does that go? That's it. It's the old Singer sewing machine. Wow, my mum had one of them. She had the manual one with the treadle on the bottom in the table. And she did a lot of sewing. And I remember her having... The old manual one took out and an electric one fitted into the table. I've no idea what happened to the manual sewing machine. 
I really wish I had it, but I don't. Right, so that's that. Now I'm going to pop some lace paper. Do you know how I got that new piece of lace paper out to use? I've not used it because I've got enough left of the other one and I do think the colours still go nicely. It's nice actually having that little bit of a relief in a slightly lighter colour. Right, this one. Uh, oh, what? Also, I have people answer this. Ask this, sorry. Uh, I, I've got A4 because I'm in UK. These papers do come in letter size, so when you print them out full page, you won't get all these extra white bits. What you'll get if you're not doing borderless, you will get your tiny little bit of white. It's because our paper size is different. I could tell you what size it were, but I'd probably get it wrong because that's where my brain is at the minute. Right, so I'm gonna cut that. I don't need it quite as perfect. As long as it goes in and tucks under that window, I'm an happy bunny. I'll cut it there. And I'll cut it there. Get the chop chop back out. Oh, I, I'm going back. To, I'm going to get some more, more <laughs> handle ones. Because they're, I found they bounce. Look, boing. And the bounce don't floor and everything. They're good, I like them. Perhaps I just need some kind of holder for them. But then I ask myself, will I put them in the holder? Will I? What do you think? No. I might shock you in a minute. Anyway, when I make the cluster. And you're used to seeing everything. All my desk in a mess. and Yeah, piles of this, piles of that. But that's mine. Yeah, that's my creative mess. Uh, I don't have to answer to anyone with that. It's not like I'm selling that stuff until it's a completed item. I'm not selling it in my Etsy shop or anything like that. So what I'm going to show you is my box of bits and bobs and offcuts that I make my clusters for my Etsy shop from. Yeah. You'll be wondering, oh, is this woman, does she have a split personality? Is she Mrs Jekyll and Miss Hyde? <laughs> Because it could not be more different. Right, you see, I've done the same with that as I did to go inside that pocket. Yes, you can take the whole envelope apart and then put it back together. Yes, you could. I could. But would I remember? No. Can I be bothered? Not really. I think, um, yeah. So, you know, when you see all these other people make these really organised envelope projects where they take them apart and, do, and line all the pieces. Well, if you're making one of them and it goes wrong and you forgot to do something, just come and watch one of my envelope projects. <laughs> Crafting for the feeble minded. And I don't mean me... Uh, subscribers it's not crafting for the fee it's crafting by the feeble-minded yeah hey dear i'm just trimming paper off oops there we go and then i'm gonna ink any white bits that's showing so there i'm happy with that now look i've got my lace on the inside i've got my pocket there that's all cool. That's so gorgeous. That's covered. Again, I could, I could even just put a piece of paper for journaling, whatever. Now, we want to put some strips of paper up front. Again, not I've not done this in a very complicated way. That bit will do. So, I'm just going to measure how wide a strip I need, about yay much. And then... For that side, I think I've got that a bit wider, so that'll be about yay much. So I'm going to cut them off. I can see my marks this time. That's one, two. Now we're going to use this longer side to get a strip for there and there. So let's measure that. Put that chopper down before you do yourself an injury, woman. So that's that one. The bottom's a little narrower, so that would be that one. I 
think I'm embracing this less precise crafting. I know they're going to be a bit long and I'm going to dare to cut them down with a pair of scissors. Ooh, how very dare she. So that I'm just going to fold it where it wants to be. I can see it on that side better. I know other ones going to need to be about the same length. So if I can pick it up, I will cut it down. Chances are. I need to grow my nails a little bit more. I'm struggling to pick things up. There we go. Get a bit of ink on this. Oh, if you're not inking, you don't have to ink. I'm liking this lighter ink with the shabby chic style. Chic, not chic. Ah, uh, the chic. That's another song. You can tell I've been watching Dave again. I always sing more when I've been watching Dave. Although actually I were listening to a bit of music while I were uh, stroking my new craft supplies. <laughs> you know, we do that. We look at it, we stroke it. We're like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Right, let's get some glue on that and stick it on. I can eat cat meowing, don't know what she wants. I can eat kids, I think they're eating again. Eating. Where do teenagers put it all? I might have that upside down, but I'm not going to stop the presses. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to redo it. How brave am I these days? That can go there. Oh, I like this. So oh, we've just got leaves around it then. I think if I use one of those... Well, I'm going to use one of those wax seals. I may use one of the ones with a leaf on. I used one with a bird and a leaf before. Yeah, I know there's a butterfly on the back here, but I'm not using butterflies to decorate. Just for a change. Yeah, I'd put one of pieces of paper upside down. But when you're just using thin strips like this, nobody knows. And if nobody tells you, you wouldn't even know. Right, so that one's going to go there. Just like so. And that one's going to go there. It used to stress me wondering how to map these, thinking I must get right up to edge at window, but who says you do? Nobody. Perhaps in my head. I'd tell myself I need to, but I don't. Yay. Oh, I can hear kids washing pots. That's a good sign. I heard them clinking dishes. Maybe they've not been eating again. Maybe they're just finishing up washing dishes after tea. Oh, bless them. They're after some. I wonder what they want. I wonder how much this uh, pot washing exercise is going to cost me. <laughs> Mum, can I have? No. <laughs> Do you think money grows, grows on trees? Well, yeah, it does. It's paper. Ah, no. We've changed it to plastic now, kids. I don't think there's a kid on planet who hasn't tried their excuse if the parents have said that. Do you think money grows on trees? I don't know if that's just a Yorkshire thing, is it? I don't know. Right. Look at me being all uh, not quite so perfect. Right, so next I want to make a little cluster. So are you ready for this feat of organisation? I have to keep these organised because I'm always in them and I'm, I like to make my clusters quick. Look at this. Ta da! <laughs> I'll try not to take camera out when I show you. There you go, that's my cluster tub. It's all organised. Different buttons. Ta da! Even, even my needles are all safe in a piece of sponginess. My favourite sewing needles. So, yeah, I'm just showing that I can be organised when I want to be and tidy. I think I like a piece of that as well. I can't, that were a piece of a bridesmaid dress, I think, that one. And, oh, I think I like that really nice open weave one. Yeah. So, close the lid without to kink camera out. There you go. 
So yeah, that is a moment of calm in a sea of chaos. Because <laughs> uh, I know I stress some people out uh, with the state of my bits and bobs boxes, but I like forgetting what I've got and looking in them and thinking, oh yeah, that's got this, that and other. I know my friend Bev, hello if you're watching Bev, it stresses her out that I have boxes or buttons that are all mixed colours. She can't be dealing with that. Sorry about that, Bev. But I like it. I love the random look of it. If they're in a clear container, I can look in container and see what I want. I think it would stress me out trying to organise all my buttons into the same colour families. Wee. I'm just putting a bit of glue on the thicker parts of that. Yay. I'm good at being random now. <laughs> I'm getting better at being random. Right, and then I'm just going to grab a wax seal. I'll show you these wax seals. Me and my eldest did these, Becca, the other day. Right, if I tell you that Becca is much better at them than I am, all these perfect ones are Becca's. All these, <laughs> that poor little thing, that's my attempt. But that That's one of Becca's. In fact, that's the one I think I'm going to put on here. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry if I'm glaring you with the windows. So, art glitter does stick these quite well. Oh, she says, well, if I'd not also got glue on that part of my finger, pulling the wax seal off, just leave that a while to dry. And I'm going to go ahead and make a card because they're the same size. I'm going to use this one as... A little template and I'm liking this is it gonna be wide enough no not I think it will because that's all leaves I want this piece now with all the leaves on and then I can perhaps put something else on oh what's this one is that all oh, that one? Oh, I like that with the ivy that'll go well won't it yeah let's use that one so it's just a smidgen too wide. Do we need to have a bit of ivy and a bit of rose? No, I just really like the ivy. So I'm sticking with just the ivy. I'm going to cut that down to that length. On the back, what I'm going to do, do you know those uh, little notes that were in the Happy Mail from Sheena? I'm going to put some of those on the back for you to write on. You don't need to... Uh, back these with coffee dyed paper. They'd be too thick if I backed them with coffee dyed paper. They wouldn't be uh, fit for the purpose for which I want them. I've lost my mark already. I think that's it. No, that isn't it. That's my mark. On your marks, set. And I just need to take a smidgen off. I'm going to take my smidgen off the top. There we go. So that should be, oh, I like that. Oh, that, do you know, I don't even know if it does. It does. It needs a bird or something on it, doesn't it? But I don't know what. I'm just going to round the corners. How long have I been? Oh, I've not been too long. Yeah, considering I were wondering what I would find to say, I've not done too bad. I've probably just talked more rubbish than usual, if that is indeed possible. I need to have a longer think and a bigger play with these envelopes now and come up with something else. I want to do some kind of journal with those Penderflex ones with the metal fasteners inside. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Some kind of folio with some flippies and flappies and ooh, it'll be good. Right, let's stick a tab on there. I've got some ready cut tabs here. Hmm. No. I want this shape. Yeah, I'm gonna use that again. Is that the same size I used on that? No, I used a bit don't matter, I can use a little one on this. No one says I've got to use the same size and two different pieces. Or actually do I want to? Yeah, I want to use that size. You 
Inke, Inke. There we go. I mean, if you've got other fancier tags all ready to go, use those. I didn't want to put anything too thick in. Oh, that's lovely. It needs a flutterby. I, I know I've, I'm trying to stay clear of too many flutterbys, but... Oh, what have I done now? Oh, just a small craft lunch. Nothing's got damaged, she says. I'm going to see if I've got a suitable flutterby in here. I think that's not even a flutterby, it's a moth. But I don't think that's the right one. Maybe that. Oh, don't we just like him? He looks like he's landing on ivy. Ah, here's a thing. I could perhaps put a butterfly on the outside of the acetate. And another one on the card maybe perhaps a smaller one on the card so you've got two butterflies but you don't realize it till you take the card out that would require two very similar butterflies oh, i like that one on that oh yeah yeah i'm going to put that one on the outside of the acetate and then I have the same butterfly, smaller. I'm going to put that one on the actual card. What a good idea. Where have you gone smaller flutterby? Got it in a variety of sizes. These were from Jane at Crafting Kitty Cat. A digital by her. Oh, come on now, come on. Where's your medium sized ones, Mrs? We could have a completely different butterfly hiding under, actually, couldn't we? Could we? Yeah, we could. That's what we're going to have to do. I thought I had two of those. I actually don't. Oh, I think. I'm... Oh, I like that. I really like that. Oh, I'm just going. It's like, what shall I use? Shall I use this one? Shall I use that one? I'm losing plot now over butterflies, aren't I? We could have two. Yeah, I'm going to use the white ones. One's going on the acetate, one's going on the card. We don't have to have one under the other. It's just a daft idea you got in your head, woman. If you'd had the correct butterflies, it would have worked, but you don't. So put it out of your head. Where do we want them though? I think I want that there because it can overlap the edge because it's on the acetate and that one can go. Oh. <sighs> Where does he need to go? No, he's going to have to cover the ivy up a little bit, isn't he? Yeah. So let's glue you on the acetate. could find another broody to glow on acetate to that other one so it doesn't matter that you are on top of the ivy because we'll see more ivy when we take the card out so that comes out and then we have another little butterfly there yeah so there we have you I like that So, yeah, I'm sorry I went with butterflies. I just can't resist sometimes, can I? Oh, that's better. I really like that. That's cute. And like I say, we'll make cards when they go in a project. Yeah, you can go to town, put pockets in, put anything you want in. I'll give you a start there, aren't I? So there we have two little journal cards. I might make a third one while it uploads. You never know, do you? Right, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And <laughs> I didn't talk your ear off with too much absolute rubbish. And I'll see you next time. Bye.